everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you so my lovelies we're doing the weekly readings i'm shuffling the 12 star signs this week so it makes it fair for which poem comes out as a lucky dip really um because sometimes obviously i don't want the same person to come out uh the lucky dip poems always at the end or always at the start so i just thought it would be a fair way so who is on number 11 and we've got Aquarius. So Aquarius, there's only two left. Which one's going to be coming out for you? What have we got for Aquarius, please, Spirit? Thank you. That one came out first, so I'm putting that one back for the last card. So, an appointment needs to be rescheduled. Frustration starts to set in. Round and round in circles, where do you begin? Something about a football team brings celebrating, celebratory news and someone will be asked by a loved one a piece of jewellery for them to choose. So, something about an appointment needs rescheduling. It says, oh, you've waited or somebody's waited for an appointment. And it's a frustration. It could be like where there's an operation and it's been cancelled and it's been cancelled again. It's just you know really frustrating um something about a football team brings celebratory news so it could be somebody who plays in a team a home team it could be a child that plays in a team so you're just really happy about that and then someone will be asked by a loved one for a piece of jewelry for them to choose and this could be because christmas is coming up and it's like to say look i don't know what to get you i'd rather you pick your own a watch or a necklace or or what have you so but there's something about a piece of jewelry it can also mean somebody has to pick an engagement ring out or a wedding ring okay so there's that kind of a scenario as well aquarius so Aquarius, that done and dusted, let's just have a look then at what your overall energy is for the week ahead. What have we got for Aquarius? And we have faith. You gotta have faith. Do -do -do -do. That's was it, Michael Jackson. No, Michael Jackson. <laughs> George Michael. Oh my God, I'm like a terrible DJ. You gotta have faith, da -da -da -da, wasn't it? George Michael, yes, da -da -da -da. and it didn't go like that, but even so, we've got faith. Have faith, faith grows when you act without knowing the end result. I'm sure you had this a few weeks ago, to be fair. Got a lot of red mist here. Feeling up against it at the moment with some issues around you. Despair, some of you are feeling as well in a situation. But even when the skies are as red as this on this card, it's sort of you coming in to say, don't give up faith. Hold on to faith. Okay? Yeah, you're in this red mist, this warning energy at the moment, this difficult energy. But you've got to have the faith to think to yourself, this too shall pass, okay? Let's just get a clarifier then for the faith card. I don't know why I've got the song of um, The Show Must Go On by Queen. The show must go on. Okay, I don't know how you sing it properly, but the show must go on. So there's something about putting a brave face on. Uh, the show must go on this week. And we've got the King of Swords. Don't give up the fight. Don't give up the battle. You've got everything around you in order to keep plodding on. There's something around you where you feel you can go no more you don't feel like you've got the energy to carry on with a fight on this but the cards are coming in saying look have faith don't give up okay it's not over yet let's have a look what your hidden psyche is feeling then aquarius i feel like some of you i'm looking at the fasteners here i'm looking at the crosses out I feel like you're feeling like somebody's double-crossed you. Feeling like somebody's double-crossed some of my Aquarians. 
Interesting. Let's have a look then. What's your inner psyche feeling? And we've got belonging. Your inner psyche is feeling restless. You could be up late at night not being able to sleep with all the worries that are on your mind at this moment in time. Some of you could have lost your sense of purpose, your belonging. So we've got a lot of struggling energy within you at the moment. Let's have a look how the universe sort of wants to add on to that this week. Let's grab the deck for you. What else have we got for Aquarius? And it's Tree of Souls. It's light at the end of the tunnel coming in here for you, Aquarius, to bring peace on a situation. Okay? Got a full moon completion of something. So it's got collective wisdom, kinship, group, and library. I always look at the library as going to the through into your soul library, okay? Going within. Yeah, you've been you've Yes, you have felt isolated, marooned and sort of caught up in a situation. There's a silver lining here, guys. There's a silver lining coming in and you will get peace on this situation. The universe is telling you. Let's just have a look at your animal spirit cards then. And we have... Why does it always rain on me? <laughs> okay, the frog energy, which is the water element. And this is how you've had to adapt with um, certain situations around you. Okay, taking on the frog sort of energy. And then it comes out with the fighting spirit of the wolf, which is the alchemical sign of earth. Become grounded, fearless, face your fears. You've got this. Okay, yeah, you feel on the energy of why does it always rain on me? Why have you had to go through all this? crap basically of late but it's just saying take on the wolf's energy because you can face your fears and go through this let's just get a clarifier on those two five of cups five is about change and yet you have had to release something you have to let things go but it's just saying it was a necessity Again, we've sort of got like a light at the end of the tunnel here. Yes, you feel like you've lost things along the way. You've lost faith maybe, but not all is lost because what is waiting here behind you that she cannot see. She thinks everything is sort of gone belly up. But it's saying hang on and face your fears because things are going to change for the better. It's going to be a good outcome on this in the end. You just can't see it yet. So let's have a look what messages are from the spirit world and we have inspiration I look at the veils on this card it's like she's covered in certain amount of veils and this is what you can't see at the moment you can't see what is right in front of you your your vision is distorted in a metaphorical sense but have the inspiration and it says your love light and wisdom touch the hearts of the minds of many you will be instrumental in helping another person change the course of their life miracles inspiration and the healing result just feel spirit are working here to change things a course of your life okay it could be that you're sort of um having faith wanting to keep the faith around somebody who may be ill at the moment and you are giving them the support okay but whatever it is that you are dealing or helping someone to deal with. There is a silver lining in the offing here and things are going to change for the better. Let's just get your fairy realms message to go with that. And we have let go. Let it go. As you surrender, the need to control your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. As you surrender the need to control, your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. Let go of these worries, okay, what's going on around you at the moment, Aquarius. Don't meet your problems halfway either. Just 
take things as they come to you over the next couple of weeks. Communication is going to be coming in as well. I always look at the bird in this card as a snippet of information is going to come in to just change the game all altogether. It's a game changer. Some information that you're going to be privy to that is going to sort of literally change everything for the better. Okay, let's have a look at your energy for the end of the week then. And we have the High Priestess. Free your mind. There's angel wings here on the third eye. And it's like to say, free your mind of all the troubles, all the burdens that are going on around you at this moment in time. Release all those negative energies, okay? Don't be the judge and jury anymore of a situation. Just allow things to unfold naturally because the universe has got your back. Hence why the faith card came in at the very start. I have got a spirit uh, energy coming through, guys. As I'm looking at the Aquarius card, I've got a male coming in. I feel it's a Jamaican male, okay? I have a male coming in of black complexion, so I'm feeling like a Jamaican type of background, okay, association of African, okay, African, Jamaican, but a black skinned person. I've got a male coming in and he would have passed with abdominal issues, okay, I feel like he'd had surgery on his uh, stomach area before passing away. He was into his fitness when he was younger, he's telling me here. He was late 60s, going into sort of like 68, 69. He wouldn't have reached his 70th. He was not far away from his 70th, he's telling me. And there's an association with an Errol, but I feel the Errol is here on the earth plane, okay? Errol, giving me the name Errol. But he would have come to an anniversary around his passing this time, in October so I just wanted to pass that out he's just coming before I finish this message so my lovelies um, don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs and until next time you take care of yourself bye then